Hi, how are you? It's Strapsin here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we learned a few new abilities, Mana Burn and Fear Ward. And we are also lucky enough to meet a priest at the Stormwind Cathedral who hooked us up with a quest called the Troll Scroll, which will eventually reward us with the Dispersion Ruin. And today... The plan is to start the quest chain to get the cozy sleeping bag. If you guys do not know what the cozy sleeping bag is, it is an item that you get, and it gives you an experience buff and stacks three times. So I thought this would probably be a good time to get it while we're leveling up. And we need to travel to a Westfall to start the quest chain so that's the plan today I don't know if we'll be able to finish the quest it's a pretty long quest chain a lot of traveling but we're at least going to get it started and hopefully we get a good good amount of it done and we can get it in maybe two episodes three would be the most but it, it is quite a bit of traveling we need to go to from Westfall all the way to the Barrens. So that's going to take some time. Hopefully we don't get ganked a lot when we go to the Barrens, but the Horde are pretty toxic on this server, so <laughs> probably going to get ganked. And we're looking for some... Starving dire wolves. Hopefully we can find three on our way to Schven. Because then we could turn in this quest. The only ones I can find right now are the rabid ones, though. There we go. There's one. There's another one right over there. So we'll just need to find one more after this. Oh, there's uh, the rabid one that we feared a few seconds ago. What the heck happened there? Okay, we're back. <laughs> I mistakenly uh, changed the scene on OBS. Sometimes that happens. Good thing I noticed. And there's no desktop audio. Give me a second, guys. Okay, there we go. We're back. Got the audio back. My bad. <laughs> And that screen you guys seen, I think it was like an AFK screen. I used to have when I streamed. And that was a long, long time ago. I tried streaming out for a bit. Maybe I'll do it again in the future. But at the moment, I just can't commit to it. And I think that's a big thing about streaming. Yeah, you have to be able to commit to... Uh, a certain schedule for it to work out. And I cannot do that at the moment. That's why I like YouTube. You just, you know, get a video done whenever you're, you know, got time <laughs> it's more flexible that's for sure the only thing I kind of miss about streaming is uh, being able to interact with with chat like in real time get some good laughs out of that sometimes sometimes it's, it's up and down though like sometimes chat can be a little bit 
obnoxious and can meet a lot of trolls. But I would say most of the my experiences with chat, like way back in the day, it was, it was positive. I think it was like 2017, 2018, 2019, so long ago. I was playing a game called Tibia. I only did it for like a month. And then I stopped. I probably shouldn't have stopped, but I had to. Yeah, enough about that. Let's go see Spen. Turn this quest in. There's a spider over there. We can get one more vial. That would be great. He also needs QB spider legs as well. Oh, we got a chest right over here. Solid chest. Come on. Just, <laughs> Just non-stop mobs attacking us. We had trouble finding these guys earlier, and now they're just all over the place. All right, what did we get there? Two silver bars, not bad. It's like around 20 silver right there. What's our bag space doing? We're doing okay. Getting a little bit full. Let's have a chat with Lars. Oh, good. You thinned out that pack quite a bit. And without those wolves nipping out our heels, we can bind our minds to dealing with Morbent Fell. Here, take some of these flash bundles. They make them in town, and a lot have been donated to Sven to help with his cause. All right. Here we are in Westfall, guys. And we have to make our way over to this farm, I believe, the Alexton Farmstead. Supposedly it's just around here. Oh, there's a druid. Got travel for him. It's pretty damn good. It seems like he's faster with that than I am with uh, the Boon of Black Fathom. I guess they're like, what, 30, that's 30% 30 moving speed with that? 40%. Wow. That's almost, that's like almost faster than a mount. Step on up. Oh, I mean, it's almost as fast as a mount. Like 20% below mount speed. Probably going to start seeing people with mounts soon. I wonder how much they cost. Mounts uh, give you 60% movement speed. Supposedly they were going to lower the, the price. Hopefully they do, because we're pretty damn broke. I think originally in Classic it costs around 90 to 100 gold for your first mount. And it's just up here. Not many people in Westfall compared to Duskwood. Maybe we'll see somebody actually trying to 
pick up this quest here. Maybe this hunter's on the way there. We'll follow him. Ah, look. We also have a level 32 super hot hunter. Super hot troll. I wonder if he's going to get attacked. It looks like he is. Yep. Let's dot him up. Dot him up. Get him. He's in our lands. I've been ganked so many times we gotta get him. How's he so fast? He doesn't even have the buff. There we go. It's a couple dots on him. Yeah, he won't be able to survive that. It's too much dot damage. Got him. It's good. Finally got some revenge on some horde. Let's give this guy some buffs. Give me heal. Kalgara the Hunter. Grip my pants. It's the guild he's in. <laughs> Funny guild name. All right, so this is probably where it starts, I believe. There's a bunch of people here. There we go. An harvest watcher on me. I wonder why this guy's standing here. Maybe he's like trying to show people where it is. I'm gonna get this mob away. Why are these harvest watchers attacking me out of nowhere? I just want to pick up the quest. There we go. So there's a bunch of junk here. Oh, it looks like burned out remains, actually. The faint radiance of the embers darkening, you stumble across the remnants of a recent fire amidst the scattered provisions. You discover a blistered note. Not all that burns is lost. Find the twinned land. Find the place. And that note you found. All right, did we get a note there? Doesn't look like it. Is this guy a hoardy? Okay, so I have a feeling that uh, we're going to get ganked quite a bit trying to get this quest. It's getting camped by the... The Alliance are camping it. Kind of feel bad <laughs> doing this. This guy's camping the quest. This 34 human warrior. I'll give him some buffs. But uh, I imagine the horde are doing the same thing. So. This is going to be rough. We're off to the barrens, guys. Gonna hearth to Stormwind. And then we're going to take. A boat to Theramore Isle. And then we'll. Fly over to Ratchet and. Make our way down to the next spot where the other half of this node is, supposedly. And there it is, and that note you found. I wonder if it shows on the map where it is. I wonder if Questy has updated it yet. Let's see. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Supposedly it's down here. I don't know how people figured this out. But I would recommend trying to get this done while people are leveling up because there's going to be people who just camp it. <laughs> Which is so lame. If you're on a PvP... But if you're not on a PvP server, you won't have to worry about that. But if you are, people are going to camp that. 100%. You won't be able to get that sleeping bag for nothing. So one thing you could do if you're leveling a new character, just try to get it if you're in the area. I wouldn't like go out of your way like I am and just travel all around the world to get it. But we're going to try. We'll see what happens here.
We're gonna miss that probably, eh? That's too bad. He's got a pet cat. <laughs> this guy missed the train. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Metsy. Looks like he's a priest. No, oh, he came back. I think he's a priest. He looks like one. Yeah, it's around Camp Tarajo. We have to find a burnt tower. I hope we can just turn it in with, with a right click. I hope it's not like a, you know, like a cast that they can, you know, stun us and grief us. Hop on, let me pray for you. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I was hoping to reset my buffs here for the meditations, but I guess that guy was AFK. <laughs> Maybe he was like, I don't know, man. I think I'll take the next train. <laughs> Maybe that was it. Who knows? I think we'll set our hearth in Manithal Harbor. I think that's a good spot. Gotta remember to do that when we get there. Oh, another guy there. Damzilla slaying some rats. 34 no more here, almost 40. It's cool how people were able to get to 40 in 24 hours. Which means we could probably do that. We are kind of going out of our way right now to get an item since our XP per hour is slowing down by quite a bit here, but I think it'll probably take us just over a day to get to 40. The wild hammer dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy pink griffins stand the heat of the great forge? I think not. I'm pretty sure Nomoragon has been diff like completed. It's not, supposedly it's not, it was not going to be too difficult of a raid. Close to the difficulty of Black Fathom Deeps. So, I'm not surprised people were able to get it done in the first cup like, few days. I haven't seen, like, even looked into the raid at all. The bosses, what they do, the gear that drops, none of that stuff. I think that's the way we'll go into it. But I don't know. I'll probably. I think it's good to to look it up, especially as a healer. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is just wipe them on a bunch of, you know, easy mechanics I could, you know, learn before I jump, like, jump into the raid. Some people get kind of upset if you're wiping to stuff you should know before you jump in, right? So I'll probably do a little bit of research before I get in there. It does spoil it, though.
It would be fun to go in a, into a raid blind with a bunch of other people that are going into it blind as well. Like you're going into it prepared, you got buffs and all your consumables, but you don't really know the mechanics of the bosses or what the bosses are going to be like at all. I think that would be a lot of fun. But to do that, you would have to organize that with 10 other people. And hopefully none of them, you know, what can I do for you? spoil it. What the heck? The innkeeper doesn't allow us to hearth here or what? Fill your tank okay, there we go. That was chair. so weird. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. The options were not there. All right, let's head over here. There's a boat there. Hopefully we can make it, guys. This uh, rogue is flying. Please don't let us miss the boat. We're going to catch this rug, though. So. Oh, look at this guy go. So there is mounts. There's level 40 right there. Yeah, we're going to make it. Nice. Level 40 Human Paladin. Let's see what a level 40 Human Paladin looks like. Full blues. Has the deadly, deadly strike of the Hydra. It's an amazing two-hander. It tells you what uh, Librum or runes they have. I guess he has the Exorcist ruin. Crusader Strike. Divine Storm. As long as he has a ruin on his wrists. On his boots, he has guarded by the light. I don't even know what that does. And I think he's supposed to have one in his belt. Maybe sh helmet? He's got some nice loot, though. I think I think you can get a lot from Scarlet Monastery. 25 grats, phase two ready. Damn right. going to get cozy sleeping bag. Heading down to the Barrens now. Yeah, there's uh, Nancy right there. Or Touch, as I call him. Hard to get. Haven't even looked it up yet. There was Alliance Camping Horde. <laughs> and, uh, the quest location in Westfall. I suppose. Oh, so actually, we'll go to the. Let's see how. Uh, this balance here, level 28, not bad. He's flying. I think he's leveling on another server too. He, he grinds, man. He was telling me that he's not interested in the, <laughs> the PvP on this server. And I don't blame him. <laughs> they're, they're toxic, man. But uh, the Alliance are toxic too. Like, I just Where would seen you that. Like to fly to? Be good. Like what we were doing to the horde there in Westfall. That was toxic. They're just trying to get their little sleeping bag. And we're, we're just not allowing it. Hopefully we can get our little sleeping bag. And I wonder if this is going to be uh, an account item. Or is this an, an item of by character specific. We'll have to see. I'm not sure if they're going to have account stuff in Season of Discovery. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but it would be cool if it was an account item. But that wouldn't be, I guess, the classic way, right? To kind of want you to
you know, go out and explore the world. So I, I think they'll probably make it character specific. But we want it. We got 15 levels to go. It's This is a good time to get it. If you were like level 33 or 34, I don't even think it's worth it. I just wait till 40 and then just get it then for the next phase, right? Because at least you can fight. You know, the opposite faction to get it. But if you're if you're on a PvE server, then that doesn't even matter. Hopefully you don't get ganked right in Ratchet. This happens to me quite a bit here. This place is full of ward. You just got to keep moving when you're in an area like this. Just don't stop moving. Once you stop moving, you end up like this guy, Xander Cat. Just keep moving. Don't look at nobody in the eyes. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> Unless you're, you know, you're that guy. You're that level 40 geared out player. I can handle, you know, two V1s, three V1s. If I actually get some awesome gear on this priest, my priest will be tough to kill, man. Especially once we get dispersion. Okay, so we have an orc warrior here, level 17. Shadow Word Death Rune. Cast a spell on the Desert Mirage. Should we even look for that? It's hard to find. I uh, helped um, a shaman get a ruin. And we had to find that mirage, but I was on my undead mage. So maybe we'll we'll try to look for it here. That'd be an easy rune to get. But we do only have 26 minutes on our Luna Black Fathom. I think it would probably take us, what, 10 minutes to get down there? Probably want to stay off the road, too. We'll check over here and see if we can find the Mirage. I think it kind of looks like a spirit. Doesn't really seem to be here. Seems like an easy... Uh, quest to do. Good thing we know we have to spell magic now, though. Okay, I can't find him. Giving up a little early, but we'll eventually get that ruin. But if we see him, we'll make sure we dispel him. There he is. Ah. Dispel him. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Nice. All right, Prophecy of a King's Demise. All right, let's get out of here. And there we go, guys. We got Shadow Word Death. All we had to do was dispel that spirit. So let's check it out. Shadow Word Death. Grave your gloves of Shadow Word Death Rune. A word of dark binding that inflicts 265 to 308 shadow damage to the target. If the target is not killed by shadow or death, the caster takes damage equal to 50% of the damage inflicted upon the target. What? <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> so it punishes you if it's the, if it doesn't kill the target. I wonder if that's a better dot than Void Plague. It's not even better than Void Plague. 
Oh. It's instant damage. That's a lot of damage, actually. So you want to use this as... As like a... An execute. Let's give it a try. We'll, we'll get rid of penance. It's kind of... I'm going to get prayer mending, though. We want to be able to survive out here. So let's pull... Um, so Shadow Word Death is now shifty. We'll find something while we're running down here. And I, I'm not going to kill it. I want to see how, how much damage it actually does. And right, Shadow Word Death. Wow, that was a lot of damage. See how much damage it did to me there? That's crazy. That's OP. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Like instant cast like that. That was a 12 second cooldown. Costs 59 mana. Say so you just, you're like dotting up a target. You're running away from him. Wanting him down. And then boom. Your soul is mine. It's going to be a lot of fun playing a priest. In PvP, I think. Because one, they're very hard to kill. And they do some pretty good damage. I wish we had... I would Shadow Word Death this guy. Right here. Just boom. See if he dies. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to use the ability. <laughs> oh, this. But that's an, that's a cool spell. It seems like all of the glove abilities, well, the two glove abilities we have, Penance and Shadow or Death, they seem, they're both OP. I don't know, we've gotten pretty far here, guys. We're at Camp Tarajo. Let's, uh, let's pull this guy up. Gonna root me? If I was playing, if I didn't know, I wouldn't have known about this ability at all. If I was playing any other class, like if I was playing, like fighting a priest, and then I just realized out of nowhere I just take three hundred damage. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? That's a little strong for a class that can put up a bunch of dots, shield themselves, hop themselves. We're also going to have a 90% defensive cooldown. I think you take like 90% less damage from just when you have Disperse. You going to kill me out here? 403. It crits? 443. Shadow Word Death Crit. How about that? It's great for killing healers, too, because they're just like, oh, what the heck? Out of nowhere, they just take a bunch of damage like that. It's pretty much like a warrior execute. Except you don't have to be, you know, in melee range. Alright, so we're getting kind of close here. It's in this area. 
So there's like 46, 74. There's like some stuff here at the top that tells you the location. You gotta keep moving though. Look at this hunter. He's thinking about me. Do have any other buffs? Raptor punch? Yeah, let's have some raptor punch. Increased intellect. Decreased stamina? Yeah, that's not worth. <laughs> Gotta have something better than that. I guess what we got here? Beer basted boar ribs. These are okay. Everyone's a higher level here, too. Let's rogues 26. I don't want to look like I'm following that. We don't want to pull anything. If you pull something, the, the horde just looks at it as, as, you know, an opportunity to kill you. I want to just be able to find out where the heck this is. It's a tower that's bust, that's like broken down. Got to find the burnt tower following the road to Camp Tarajo. Let's hide somewhere and we can maybe figure out where the heck this is. Okay, so it's 4674. Which means we, I think we went a little too far. Right here, it's right up there. So we got to turn around. It's really like righty. Okay, there. I think it's right there. Okay. I hope there's no horde here. Let's get the hots up. Let's get the shields up. Let's go in. We got fear ready. Psychic scream. Yeah, they're not going to let it. Is there an alliance here? What the heck? There's a bunch of alliance here. That's right. You guys can't contest us. Just complete it quick. Accept it quick. We'll read it later. Let's buff up our comrades. Let's get out of here. Wow. I honestly thought the horde was going to attack us. All right, so let's see the quest we got, guys. Stepping stones. You tear a note from the plank and read the scrawled writing. The note begins, Mission said they were both making deliveries for New Plague. Looks like simple apothecary accidents to me. Find my cozy spot in the mountains between the barrens and Desolus. If you want a safe place to talk. All right, so we got to head all the way to Stone Talon Mountains, guys. We'll do it. Why not? We got 15 minutes on this boon buff. And we need to f probably find something in Stone Talon. Someone we, we got to talk to. So I think Questy doesn't show you where it is. No, they don't. Got a lizard shooting at us. Happy we got this buff, though. Also, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I try to keep this buff up. Who the heck do you think you are, pal? Gilrot? You one of those guys? You one of those guys? You that guy? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Okay, whatever, man. Feel the dot. Yeah, there you go. You use the, You use that. You use that. Yeah, you run away. 
Can't keep up with me, pal. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight me, man. Once I pull out that Shadow Word Death card, he's not going to know what to do. Once he noticed his bleeds did no damage, he was like, man, this is rough. I don't think I can handle this guy. And that's another reason why I'm playing priests. Priests can, can hold their own out in the world. For the most part. As long as we're at like the same level, we can hold our own. Patrolling cheetah. On the move. Moving too fast to be hit. Interesting. Never really seen that before in the Barrens. Yeah, I'm not too sure what we'll do after this, guys. Maybe we'll do a little bit of, um... Duskwood? I don't know. Duskwood or... Human Rogue. Give him a buff. He's going down to get the same thing that we just got. Stockades or Duskwood, guys. Duskwood leveling. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we'll, do, we'll mix it up. We'll do a little bit of Stockades. And then another, next episode, do a little bit of Duskwood. And we'll do that until 30. And then we'll make our way up to Scarlet Monastery. And that's when we're, we should start getting some pretty good XP. And also our best in slot loot. Or our pre best in slot loot for Gnome or Gun. And I had a comment recently. Some people don't seem to, I don't know, I think this was probably a new viewer. Because I've been playing in this format for a while where I don't really speed up the the journey. Like, what, what a, a normal YouTuber would do is they would just cut this running part out and then they would just show us at in Stone Town, right? But I don't really do that. I tend to... Tr I don't really... I, I've kind of cut it down a little bit recently. But I started out just showing the entire journey. Pretty much everything I did. I've cut out a few things recently. Like, so, like so a lot of the in-town stuff, I've kind of just started doing off camera. Because I've done it so many times on so many characters. That I feel like I should probably just focus more on like... Out, like questing and stuff like that and dungeons. Yeah, I wonder if I should do that. Like, just speed it up. It'd be interesting to try out. I'm going to start experimenting on the channel a little bit. Just trying new stuff. Because I think I've gotten a little bit stagnant with my videos. It's got we've been I've been doing the same format for um, for years. Thumbnails as well have been pretty much the same too. I think I've added the border recently, but that's been going on for a few months now. All right, well here we are. At uh, Stone Talon Mounts. Now, I wonder if we'll get ganked here. I think they would attack us if we walked by them. 
Oh no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Baron's guard. I think we're fast. These guys are slow, man. Okay, good. So they do attack you. I was pretty terrified of this border here. Border patrol. Oh, my warrior. But you can skip up here. No, maybe you can't. Oh, wow. You hit us pretty hard there, probably. But we're gone now. I think I timed that on my warrior. Lucky. The Torrent Hunter. So where do we have to go? It's it's near Sunrock Retreat. Maybe I should have went to Ratchet, but you do have a flight point up here. Might have been a little bit faster. I suppose like it's like right around here. Cursor's kind of messed up right here. It's like right there. Okay. We'll just, can't miss it, I guess. Just got to follow the road. And this isn't the end, guys. There's more, <laughs> more traveling. Doesn't end here. So it's probably going to be a second episode just to get this bag. But it'll be worth it. We'll be getting extra XP and we'll get to 40 a little bit faster. Camp Operage. Camp... I don't even know if I... I probably didn't say that properly. Got five minutes on our bin. And I have been going to Darnassus off camera just to reset it. I just think it's nice to have right, like a 20% movement speed buff. Could you imagine not having that right now? We'd probably still be on our way to uh, the southern parts of the Barrens. I hope people are still going to farm this. It's a lot of health right there. 260 health. Just from that buff. You want to know what's cool? We can actually do the Black Fathom Deeps raid and get XP from it. Maybe we'll do that on the priest. I haven't done it yet on the priest, so it would be cool to try. I just don't know. There's probably be people doing it just to get the... to get the trinket. Because there's a item that drops off of the last boss. It's a guaranteed drop. And then you turn it in, and then when you turn it in... They drop the boon of the Black Fathom buff for everybody. And you, you get a trinket from it. Should probably do that. And I wonder if they still have uh, the battle for Ashenvale. Maybe? It looks like they might. Or is that gone now? 
I have a feeling it's probably gone. Which means if we want to get Warsong Gulch rep, we have to actually do Warsong Gulch, which is not bad. On a priest is actually pretty fun because priests are are a good good class for BGs. Usually they stack a few of them in a group. Surprised we don't see any horde here. I thought Stone Talon Mounds would be such a popular place for horde to be leveling, but I guess a thousand needles is that spot. There's a horde right there. That's a human warrior. I thought that was an undead warrior. <laughs> I think up here is probably pretty popular too. Yeah, South Shore. Supposedly there, uh, there's no quests there though. Like when I went there before, I couldn't get any quests. I don't know if they removed them. I'm in trouble or what? Nice level 30 warlock. Hard to kill. He probably outlasts us though. That's the thing about that fight. Priest Warlock, it's not it's a long it's a long fight. So we could easily just run away. <laughs> Classes we have to watch out for, I think, are like hunters. Hunters you can't get away from. Their pets are way too fast. The rogues. Any class with a lot of burst warriors. Ellie Shaman's probably... Yeah, there's a hunter, hunter right there. Another guy attacking me? Yeah. Boomkin. Boomkin. Hunter combo. We just had to live there. See, he's got a... Rejuve on him. Damn it. Okay, well, let's see if we're close. Gotta be close. This is the abandoned path we gotta go down, maybe? Maybe it's around here. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We'll find it. it. Sucks we lost our bot, but we're gonna lose it anyway soon. This all this dwarf died as well. Probably died to the same people. It's another good thing about duo leveling. You always have a buddy to back you up. I think I could have killed that hunter, to be honest. All I needed to do there is just survive long enough to get him low enough where I can just shadow or death him. Should watch over that shaman. He's probably pretty tempted to kill me. Is that the path there? I wonder if that's the path. This rogue's probably going there. You know, we'll follow him. He knows what he's doing. Look at all the dead bodies here, man. It's a war zone. You know, this has to be the way. I have a feeling these guys probably watched the video or something like that. But you can tell there's all these dead bodies here.
Who's it hanging? Greetings. Just follow the dead bodies. I would have never found this by myself. I don't even think I've ever been through here. It's cool. There's like they're where they're placing all this stuff. Look at all this. This is a war zone. Oh, we got Hordy's. Hello. Is that him? Seems like we got an agreement. Check, take the mining pick. Backcountry adventurers and mercenaries alike undoubtedly may camp here. The corner of a note flapping in the breeze catches your eye and you reach for it. Not so bad, eh? Since you're reading this, it means my stash is still there. Take a hundred paces due north and don't break your ankles going down the steep cliffside. There should be enough to keep you going. Let's check out the steep cliffside. We got another priest here named Doc. Th these places are going to be camped, man. 100%. Okay, here's the steep cliffside. If I could dot that guy from here. Let's see. Whoa. Good thing he's AFK. <laughs> Great opportunity to kill me. Okay, so there we go, guys. We got the scramble quest. I think it's a good time to call. We're just heading up to an hour now. I'm going to make my way up here. But Sean was thinking about killing me. You see that? What the heck did this? There's Doc. I wonder what Doc's doing. Maybe we should follow Doc. He's heading down here. I think we might do that. We're going to follow Doc, guys. It was meant to be. I have a feeling he's going south to get the flight point in Desolus. Which is probably a good idea. Can we actually do the dungeons there? Yeah, Maradon is 46 to 55. Yes, yeah, so probably not. Can't do ZF either. But if we're going through the Charred Vale, we might as well go with Doc. Say so we got some hordes leveling here. I'm hoping he just leads us to the next step. <laughs> I don't know what the heck we're doing. He said head head down. Oh, we had to go north, 100 paces north, and don't break your ankles going down this. I bet you Doc's already done that. We got all this stuff. We got simple wood, a sturdy lunchbox, a mining pick. We already have one of those. And flint and tinder. This is actually a good idea. Oh, no. I actually didn't do that much damage. Yeah, he's taking us down to Desolus. That's a smart idea.
I assume the next one is probably born Stone Talon. The next part of this quest. I think the next place that we're going to here is called Nigel's Point. You resisted our fear. Probably pulling everything, man. Good, he pulled one. Very good. We just got dazed. He went that way. We should probably follow him. Nice, he pulled him too. Is it up here? I don't know if it's sideways. It's not up there. It's this way. There's a, a flag you gotta find. I always fall for that too when I go to Nigel's Point. I always think it's up here. It's just over here. Just gotta find... The flag. Yeah, it's right here, I believe. Or the light, the lamp, or whatever you want to call it. It's probably a pretty good place to level as Horde. You go to Desolus. But I assume people just go to Scarlet Monastery and level there in dungeons. This is not a bad spot. Alright, here we are. Nigel's point. We now have the flight point here. Alright, guys. So we made it to Nigel's point. Next episode, we will be attempting to finish this cozy sleeping bag question. But, as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.